Hey citizens, it's Bishop407 here again. Just wanted to do a follow-up video for the Hicks voice attack profile. Uh, this video is going to be a brief rundown on how to get around some of the installation issues that people have been having and also to kind of go over how voice attack um, is laid out or at least this profile has, is laid out on voice attack and also how it interacts with voice attack. So we're just going to be covering those things today and hopefully it'll be nice, short, and sweet. I just wanted to start off by thanking everybody for you know their support, uh, for their interest in Hicks, and also for you know all the comments, upvotes, all that good stuff. So you guys rock. Glad you're enjoying it. So hopefully we can get a lot more of you up and running with it today. So we'll go into this in just a second. So there were two main issues that people ran into when they were trying to set up the Hicks voice profile. So the first one is going to be the pathing for the audio files. You have to actually just kind of go into your user folder and then create the folder as Bishop, then Desktop, then Voice Attack Prompts. And that's where you can put all of the folders for the music files, the probability dice rolls and all that stuff, as well as all of the other audio files. After that, voice attack should pick up on all of those and you won't run into any issues. So that's one problem down. Next we'll go into the second one. So when you set up voice attacks in the way that mine is actually set up is you have these kind of setups where it's going to ch change the profile over to a different profile. And the problem is it can't change over to that profile if it doesn't exist. So when you're actually importing these profiles, a lot of them aren't recognized yet. But it's really simple. You just kind of go in and you really just want to get this change to profile working correctly. So the only odd one out is going to be the startup. And for that, you go to startup right here. Just double click and make sure that this is going to be sent to star citizen on foot. And that'll move to the on foot commands. So this is where it starts getting a little bit more complicated, but really it's just an easy fix. So we'll go down to the on foot commands. And you want to scroll all the way down here to the descriptions where it's this profile change area. And these are the pl places that you want to make sure that all of your pathing is correct. So you know for your EVA, you want to make sure it says change to profile star citizen EVA for your you know, Avenger or anything like that, you want to make sure it's going to the right profile. And that's really going to be the big issue that you'll run into when importing this. So just make sure all of those profile change options are consistent and sending it over to the right profile for all of the ones that you've imported. And like I said, that's just kind of an issue with voice attack for, you know, it can't really send the next command if that profile does not exist yet on your computer. So once you get that all fixed up, it should be good to go, and that'll get rid of all of those little issues that we've been running into so far. So give that a try, and if you have any issues, just leave them in the comments below. So if those are actually missing, just to give you an idea on how to put them in, we'll go ahead and go to the on foot commands and go to performing EVA real quick, and we'll just get rid of this command real quick. So if you end up popping in there and you see that this is how it's set up, you want to go to Other, Voice Attack Actions, then go to Switch to Another Profile. And from there, it'll have all of your profiles laid out for you to kind of pick in between. And then we'll just click Star Citizen EVA, and there it is. And that's exactly how it works for all of the other commands. So it's a pretty simple fix, but like I said, if you have any issues, just let me know. All right, so we'll take a look at how the profiles are actually laid out based on the commands, and that way it'll give you a better idea of how you should be kind of working around them, or you know, when you need to find something, you'll be able to find it quickly. So I'll pull up the Gladius just so we have a more wide range of commands to take a look at. So we've got advanced maneuvers laid out, and these are going to be your G safe on, decouple, and then there's going to be uh, this is your relative mode and or this is your relative mode and this will get you out of your relative mode right there. And then from here we have our probabilities, uh, actual just talking to Hicks right here, conversation pits like nice job, thank you, target destroyed. Then you have your countermeasures which will launch uh, 
you know, all of your countermeasures at once. It'll go through everything and just kind of launch them off. Ejection, then you have all of your information. So uh, these aftermarks are going to be, you know, the acronym for the company. So Anvil Aerospace is going to be AA, Aegis Dynamics, AD, etc. So information is all located right here, going through corporations, Hicks itself, all these guys down here. And then we get to all of our landing information, missile locks. These are your play musics, uh, overall power manipulation, power groups. Uh, these profile changes are really important, as we've kind of dis uh, discovered. So you want to make sure you know where those are. Uh, this will be your profile reference, so it'll actually tell you, you know, what profile you're on. Uh, recording commands, I have mine done through NVIDIA, so if you're not working through NVIDIA, you can kind of move these around and take a look. So it just kind of gives the basic commands and all that stuff, so you can change those around. Uh, then we have self-destruct, uh, shield commands, uh, system, so radar, match speed, lights, all that stuff, targeting, uh, and then these are going to be your views, look behind, camera, focus, unfocus, and all that stuff. So that's how it's laid out, and hopefully that gives you a better idea of you know what you're working with with the Hicks. So there you go. We'll just take a look at how voice attack interacts with the profile while we're using it. So we'll start with the startup and go through, you know, just ship, foot of combat, and EVA. So here we go. Hicks Online. Hicks Online. Welcome back, citizen. And from here, you're supposed to be able to get into any of your ships, so syncing them up based on those profile changes. And you can go EBA or turn Hicks off, which you can do in any of the command profiles. So from here, we'll go into a ship, sync Gladius. Gladius integration complete, ready for flight. And again, there are three commands here. You can turn off Hicks or you can desync your Gladius, or you can go into uh, EVA. So we'll just desync, so desync Gladius. Gladius desynced. Foot combat mode initialized. Okay, and from here we'll go to EVA. Performing EVA. EVA assistance activated. And then from there, you can obviously get into a ship, exit EVA, or turn Hicks off. So we'll go back to foot combat, and then we'll turn it off. So exit EVA. Foot combat mode initialized. Hicks offline. Hicks offline. And there you go. And that's what it looks like while voice attack is going through the commands for you. So the last thing I want to show you is how to actually put a new ship onto your profile that isn't already on there. So we'll start off by going down to create new profile and we'll do star citizen 325A. So we'll do a 300 series ship, so import commands, and you will just import your normal Gladius or Avenger profile, but I'll just go ahead and pop this in, which is your normal Gladius profile. Uh, there will be some tweaks that you might need to do to the actual profile once you get it in there, but this is just going to be your general ship. Like most things will run, the only issues you might run into are going to be, you know, power off and on, and essentially that's it. I mean, since those are based on keystrokes at this point in time, uh, the only thing you'll that run into is that power off and on. So we'll go ahead and import this. So once it's imported, you now have your 325A profile set up. You want to make sure you go down here and you're going to need to change just a few things. Uh, the first thing is going to be the mode. So right now it's set on Gladius mode, so we need to swap that out. Go to Other, Sound, Play Sound. And then we'll pop up this 300 series mode right there, and all of the ships have a corresponding mode along with it so you just need to locate the file and pop it on here and we'll test it 300 series connection is active there you go so we'll put that in the next thing you need to do is change 
the Gladius, so now we'll do desync 325A, and then we will get rid of this desync Gladius, and then desync 300 series. 300 series desynced. There you go. So those are the only two things you need to actually change within this. Now, once you have that in, you need to actually be able to get to that profile. So we'll go and swap over to the uh, EVA just to make things a little bit better. Go to Edit Profile. And we're going to be putting in a new command. Let me just scroll down to the profile changes real quick. So we'll do a sync 325A. And then we'll do, obviously, this voice attack action, switch to another profile, Star Citizen 325A. And then we'll get the sound for the sync. So sync 300 series. 300 series integration complete, ready for flight go and the last thing just make sure you keep up with your descriptions it really helps especially if you start adding a whole bunch of more commands so make sure you put profile change so you know what you're doing so once that's in there you need to make sure it carries over to foot combat as well as yeah just foot combat <laughs> so we'll go ahead and be finished with this and we want to go to export profile select none and go down to the profile change and do that sync 325a and export it to just you know I, I use update for mine but we'll do like test just to show it and then you can go to the on foot command import commands test and there you go is that sync 325a so just to show that it actually is working and I'm not just kidding you here we'll do sync 325a 300 series integration complete, ready for flight. Mode. 300 series connection is active. Desync 300, sorry. Desync 325A. 300 series desynced. There you go. So that's combat mode initialized. <laughs> so that's pretty much how you end up putting in a new profile. And like I said, I, I put all of the audio files that you'll need to actually create any ship that's available or has been sold in the game so far so hopefully this has been helpful and y'all get up work up and working and you know if there are any questions or any further comments i mean please leave them uh on the community hub page i'll be taking a look at that and making sure i kind of keep up to date with you guys and you know there will be future updates to hicks and you know just i hope y'all enjoy it and you know I'll be doing another video soon enough, so enjoy.